okay so let's have this problem so four coins are toes then let x be the random variable representing the number of tails and construct the probability distribution for the random variable x so first we need to find the total possible outcomes for this experiment since this one is a coin and a coin has two sides and we have these four coins so therefore one two three four so these are the four coins and to find the total possible outcomes so just multiply all these sides so we have two times two times two so two times two that's four and four times two that's eight eight times two that's sixteen so therefore the total possible outcomes is sixteen then this time we need to list the sample space or the possible outcomes so for four coins so you can have four heads or head 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 and one tail then also head head tail and head or head tail head and head or you can have tail head head and head then also head head and two tails then also head tail head and tail or head tail tail and head also you can have tail tail head and head or tail head tail and head or tail head head and tail then also three tails so head tail and tail or tail head tail and tail or tail tail the head and the tail or tail tail the tail and the head in the last one the four tails so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so the total possible outcomes is sixteen so these are the sample space then to find the probability that the number of tails occur so for all heads there is no tail that's zero then for this outcome so we have one tail for this outcome we have one tail and also one tail then for this outcome so we have one tail for this outcome so we have two tails then also two tails that's two tails then also two tails this is two tails and two tails then for this outcome so we have three tails then this is three tails and also three tails for this outcome so that's three tails and the last one so we have four tails so therefore the possible values for x or the number of tails occur so that's zero then one two three and four so these are the possible values for x so to create now a probability distribution so for x that's the number of tails so again the possible values for x for the number of tails so we have 0 1 2 3 and 4 tails then for the probability 
So the number of possible outcomes that there is no tail. So we have 1 out of 16 because we have 16 possible outcomes. So the probability that there is no tail. So that's 1 out of 16. So for P of X for X equals 0. That's 1 over 16. Then for one tail, so in a sample space, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 4 over 16 for one tail. Then reduce, or this one is 1 over 4. So for one tail, that's 1 over 4. So this is the probability that only one tail occur during the experiment and for these two tails so in a sample space so we have one two three four five six so for two tails that's six out of sixteen or reduce so this one is divisible by two so we have three over eight so the probability that two tails occur during the experiment is 3 over 8. Then for these three tails, so in a sample space, for three tails, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4 out of 16. Then reduce, that's 1 over 4. So the probability that three tails occur, so that's 1 over 4. Then for four tails, so in a sample space, so we have 1, four tails occurs, so that's 1 out of 16. So the probability for these four tails is 1 over 16. So this is now the probability distribution for this experiment. Then if we want to create a probability histogram, so for the y-axis, this one is the probability, and for the x-axis, the x or the number of tails. So again, for the possible number of tails, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then for the probability from the sample space, so we have 1 over 16, 4 over 16, and 6 over 16. So in a probability histogram, so we start with 1 over 16. This is 2 over 16, 3 over 16. 4 over 16 and 5 over 16, then 6 over 16. So if there is no tail, so the probability, so for no tail, that's 1 out of 16. So for the probability histogram, so if there is no tail, so 1 out of 16. Then if there is only one tail, so the probability for only one tail, that's 4 over 16 or 1 over 4. So 4 over 16, this one is 4 over 16 for one tail. Then for these two tails, so the probability for two tails, that's 3 over 8 or 6 over 16. So this is 6 over 16 for two tails. Then for these three tails, so the probability for three tails, that's 1 over 4 or 4 over 16. So in the histogram, this is 4 over 16 for three tails. Then the last one for four tails. So the probability for four tails, that's 1 over 16. So this is 1 over 16 for four tails. So this is now the probability histogram for this experiment.